So this question says, for groups of 25 or more people, a museum charges $21 per person for the first 25 people. Okay, so 0 to 25, or I should say 1 to 25 people, you're going to be charged $21 per person. Um, and $14 for each additional person. So 26 plus, you're going to be charged $14 per person. P is person. Which function... F gives the total charge in dollars for a tour group with N people where N is greater than or equal to 25. Okay. Well, if N were equal to 25, it would just be 21 times N. Right? But as soon as N gets larger than 25, then that's going to change. So I think, actually, I think the best way to answer this question is through a strategy called plug in your own number. So I am going to say we have 26 people. I'm going to go one above the 25. Based upon what I've been told here, the first 25 people should pay $21. So in my calculator, what is 25 times 21? I get $525. All right, so this is all based upon n equals 26. So for the first, so for the first 25 people, that's how much I'm paying. And for that additional one person, I'm going to add $14 to that. And I'm going to pay a total of $539. So which one of these answer choices, when n equals 26, do I get a value of 539? That's how we use plug in your own number as a strategy. So for choice A, 14 times 26 is 364 plus 175. That's equal to 539. So I like that as an answer, but I'm going to try the others as well. Choice B, well, this can't be correct, right? Because we start off with the same 14N, but we're adding a very lo much larger number here. So that cannot equal 539. So that's gone. Choice C, uh, let's see, 35 times 26 is 910 minus 350 is 560. So that's not 539 as well. And choice D, 14N plus 21. Again, can't be correct because we know 14N plus 175 is correct. So choice D is gone. So the correct answer here must be choice A. I'm sure there are other ways to answer it, but I like using this strategy. Plug in your own number. And again, just for a recap, the way it works, you choose a number that fits the criteria provided in the question, right? N is greater than or equal to 25. I could have chose any number greater than 25 or even equal to 25. Um, so we start off by choosing your own number. You use that number to find the answer that you expect, right? If n were equal to 26, we know we're paying 525 for the first 25 people plus $14 for the second, for the for the next person, for the 26th person. So all together, we're paying 539. So knowing that, I'm just going to find which of these answer choices matches or provides to me what I expect it to provide to me when n equals 26. And in this case, it's just choice A.